Alright guys, this is Play for Passion Bootcamp number three, and this one is all about scales. So, the scales we're going to be covering mainly, I'm going to touch quickly also on a topic of keys, but the scales we're going to be covering are the major scale, and the pentatonic scale. I'm not going to be covering other scales, but I'm going to talk about them. So let's start with the major scale. The major scale is used in all music. So, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> so, what I did there earlier, the up here. That's an extension. It's just just repeated. So that's this note right here is an octave from this note. So let's talk about finger position down here. You're going to use all four of your fingers for this. You're going to put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, which is the second string down. And then that's going to go 3, 5 on the A string. You're going to move up to the D string, which is one more string up, and go 2, 3, 5. So far we have 3, 5, 2, 3, 5. And then it goes 2, 4, 5. So. So let's do that slow together. Pretty simple, right? So to move that extension upward, you're going to go 5, 7 on the G string, which is one above the D string. This is all going up strings, so the B string then is 5, 6, 8, and then the E string, the high E string, you go 5, 7, 8. So, Instead of hitting this, you can also hit the ninth fret here, so... Oops. That's the easier way when you're... Because what I do when I go up is I go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then I just do... I've noticed how I'm repeating that note, and that's how you skip repeating that note. So that's the major scale. Um, that's actually the C major scale. So once you get that down and good, um, then we can go ahead and move on. But before we move on real quick, well, I was talking about keys. So that's the key of C. So that means if I do anything in the key of C, so let's say I have just a simple C power chord, and I'm just chugging along on it here. Anything I do with those notes is correct. So. So that bend right there, I'm bending to this note, which is actually this note. Those are called, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> I call them duplicate notes when I'm teaching because it's just easiest. So 10 on the B is the same as 5 on the E. Now that that's out of the way, in the key of C you also have a relative minor, which is the sixth position of any key. 
So in the key of C, it starts C, D, E, F, G, A. So that A right there is actually the relative minor. So if I went and I took our A pentatonic and went Notice how it sounds minor, as opposed to if I were to play like... So that tricks your ear. That's what's cool about it. It's the relative minor. Um, this is actually the A minor pentatonic scale, and it starts on the 5th fret on the low E string. So it's going to start here on the 5th fret and go to the 8th fret. So using your pointer finger and your pinky, going 5, 8, go up a string, 5, 7, go up a string, 5, 7, I'm using my ring finger for these, 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 8. So 8, 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5. There's three of each, so it starts off on 5 8, 5 7, 5 7, 5 7, 5 8, 5 8. Um, that's pretty easy to go forward after you get it. Going backwards can be a bit of a trick. So let's do that once or twice, just going slow. Let's play it together. speed it up a tiny bit on the way back. And you go back forward a little bit faster. Now we're going to go pretty fast on this one. That's about the speed most people take it as. A lot of players go, ugh. I'll try and go fast. I don't play it like that. I play it with the added blues note, so it's more like. It's also the gypsy scale as well as. added note there. So let's actually let's break down the blues scale. The gypsy scale is just without this one right here. And I'll tell you which one it's without. So 5, 8, 5, 6, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 8. That's the one it's without. And then 5, 8, 5, 8. So it's your same pattern, except you have 5, 6, 7 there, and 5, 7, 8 on the G string. So, let's play that one slow. It's really awkward to do that, trying to move my fingers off in case you're wondering why I'm having such a hard time. Alright, let's speed that up. Alright, so, now before we end this, I do want to show you guys one cool little trick. Um, obviously, at this point, we've talked about how to hold the guitar, we've talked about playing, so let's apply this. I'm going to record myself right here, playing that C chord.
All right, so I'm about to replay that, but here's what I'm going to show you real quick. Turn the distortion off so you can hear this. Right there, that little pentatonic run, 575757, five, seven, five, seven, those are the magic notes for soloing in the key. So I can also do it up here in C. The easiest way to do this is there's a chromatic scale. We're gonna, actually we're, we're going to go over the chromatic scale because it's important to find notes on the guitar. So the chromatic scale is half steps up. So the low E string starts on an E. So here's what a chromatic scale would look like. That being the octave, so. Okay. Let's break that down. Starts on E. So the next note would be the first fret. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, in case you didn't catch that. Okay, so chromatically, that would go E, F. There's no notes between, there's no B sharp and there's no E sharp. So if you're going up, it's sharps. So if you're going down, it's flats. So I'll explain that in a minute, but you'll probably catch on as I'm going. But between E and F and B and C, there's nothing. So that means E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, that's where I'm getting C from, it's the 8th fret, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, so that'd be E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E. So that works for all of these. So the B, A, B, B sharp, or I mean A, A sharp, B, C. If you learn the first position scale, it's E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. I can teach you that real quick too, because it's only going to take a moment. I haven't forgotten about a recording, don't worry. So, to do the first position scale, it's all whole notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so, open, low E string, one, three. Oh, by the way, this is called the first position scale because your fingers are in the first position, so the first four frets. Okay, so open the E, low E, then one on the E, then three on the E. That's your first string. Then we're going to move to the second string, the A string. Open, two, three. So let's go with that much slowly. Okay, so we're going to take the D string, open, two, three. Now this is where it gets weird. G string, open, two. Then we're done with that string. So let's do everything up to that point slowly. One, or open, one, three, open, one, three. Pattern look familiar? It should. So, um, we just did that slow, so if you didn't get it, go back, practice it. Once you get that down, we're going to use our chromatic scale to find C. I'm doing a C power chord up here, and I just recorded that. So what I'm going to do now is improvise using... Uh -huh. The th six magic notes I just talked about. I'm gonna do it. In I'm gonna do it in the key of C. So I'll be doing the C notes, but I'll also jump down at some point to the A notes and show you how the relative minor 
That's major, by the way. That's A major. But it'll sound minor with the C in the background. Listen for it. If you don't have a good ear, you might be able to spot it. If not, you, you most likely will be able to. But I'm just going to give you a small example of what that sounds like using using these six notes in the C and then jumping down to the six notes in the A. Alright, so here we go starting off with the C. Jumping down to A. Alrighty, so that pretty much sums that up. Yes, by the way, the myth is true. It's easier to play with distortion. Yep. Oh. Yep, well there goes my guitar sound. <laughs> it's the end of the video anyway. But thank you guys for watching. This is kind of a longer one, but we covered a lot of material. Oh, there we go. We covered a lot of material in this, and I'm really glad that we did get to get this far. This is boot camp number three. So, four will be all about chords. And it won't just be basic chords. I already have a video on that. So, if you haven't watched my video on basic chords already, I'm going to ask that you do that because I'm not going to re-go over them. I've already done that. We'll be talking more about bar chords. We'll be talking about triads. I mean... And that's what we'll be covering to, uh, you know, not tomorrow in the next videos. Chords from bar chords to triads to arpeggiation, arpeggios, and a little bit of sweep picking. We're not going to go into detail and start doing sweep picking, but we're going to explain why it works. So stay tuned, guys.